Okay, welcome to the first episode of the 2017 season of Nova Scotia Mine Hunters. Here we are in Sherbrooke on Sonora Road. We're going to visit the Sonora Road Adit today. It's a small little uh, gold mine just up here in the, uh, the forest, cut into the side of this mountain. So we're going to walk up the hill and take a look at it. There's a beautiful uphill walk here. <laughs> beautiful in the way that it's leg killing. But uh, our GPS is telling us that it's uh, just up here. You see a lot of uh, waste rock on the way up. So it looks like this was the uh, where they threw it all down. Oh, I do see it up there. What well, looks to be an added anyway. Well, looky, looky. Isn't that nice? We found another gold mine, boys. So here's just looking through the forest, down the, uh, down the side of the mountain, down to where uh, the clearing and the vehicle's sitting. So we're just up here in the trees, and this is where the old mine sits extremely square cut. I mean, we're talking ruler straight walls here, it seems. And uh, it does get rounder as you go in, but you'll see that once we get in there. But what an impressive entrance. What a beautiful setting here. It's just like, uh, I think I've commented in other episodes, it's like Jurassic Park. All the green and the ferns and the moss. So let's head in. So we've got some uh, crap thrown in the mouth, just forest debris, but it cleans up really quickly here because we go to a nice rock floor. And here's where it turns rounded. That's great. One of the boys is up ahead. I think he's made it to the end already. This seems to be like only a 100, 125 footer. Looks like they went a distance and then just gave up or gave what they want, got what they wanted. This was probably a pretty small operation, but uh, it's definitely worth the visit. I mean, it's a, it's an open mine in Nova Scotia, an open abandoned mine, which are rare these days. It's starting to seem to get so just turn around here, looking back at the mouth. A little bit of water drips, but it's really dry in here. Great example of an abandoned mine. Solid as hell. I'm sure all the locals know about this. Um, it does look well tromped and traveled. There's no real garbage. It's well clean and kept, but uh, beyond that, it is. Uh, this is an end up here. A very cool fungus right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Just like lines of gold threaded through the, uh, the rock. Uh-oh. We have dirty graffiti, oh, a giant penis. And a, and a penis. There's another one. That one's a penis and balls. Penis and balls, and this is a very hieroglyphic penis. What's that say? Anyway, let's have a look at the end, folks. This is all she wrote for this one. Cigarette pack and a beer can and a vitamin water. So two vices and some health right there. <laughs> Let's have a look at this quartz vein they were following. He says it's right here. Yeah, I can see it. So here's at the end, looking back to the mouth. We've got some still photography going on with our wonderful photographer team member. You can uh, see his fabulous shots on our Facebook page. That's where we put them all. All right, let's head out.
amazing. All right, these episodes go by quick when it's such a small little uh, abandoned mine, but uh, they gotta be covered nonetheless. We're trying to hit every remaining site that's left in the province that's legit, and you can't skip these because they're, uh, they're potential gems. I mean, this one is a real beauty anyway. It's, it's, it's small, but definitely uh, was definitely worth the, uh, the visit while we were down in this area. So chalk another one up, an untouched, perfect example of a abandoned Nova Scotia mine. So we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.